Hello everybody, it's Sanyo, engineer, MBA, and investor. In today's video, I want to talk about a short report on Ginkgo Bioworks stock symbol DNA. We've covered this company in the past, but basically in the recent days, a short report has been released by Scorpion Capital, basically attacking and exposing the company. I want to talk about all of this in this channel, in this video. Before we do that, guys, you guys know the drill. Do like this video, smash that like button, destroy it. If you haven't subscribed yet, please consider subscribing and hit that notification bell for our videos to get to you faster. So what you're looking at here is a Twitter thread, and this was published as a PDF, I believe, um, in scorpioncapital.com. And basically, this type of institutions, what they are is basically an institution that reviews companies. And whenever they see fraudulent claims or whenever they see negative signs, red flags on companies, they publish these reports. And this is what we call short selling, right? This is what the markets, if you've been involved in the markets long enough, you basically know what short sellers are. You also have seen it, how short selling can be extremely risky earlier this year with GameStop. Uh, with the whole saga with GameStop. So the idea of a short stock is basically the opposite of buying a company and holding, right? When you buy a company stock and you hold it, it's because you're hoping for this company to improve in revenues and financials and in products and services, and basically a year of greater re reward in the future end time, right? And plus one. But short selling is the opposite, where you're in a position to believe that the company will fall in revenues and will fall in product lines and services. And most likely when you're doing these types of short selling is because you believe the company is doing some sort of fraud, fraud uh, activities, right? And this is what happened here with DNA. This is what Scorpion Capital here are claiming. And just a last comment before we even jump in this report and this thread is that short sellers do have a space and time in our public markets. Uh, I know a lot of people are anti-short sellers, like for example, Elon Musk, obviously short sellers attacked Tesla for years and years. And obviously that's just an exception of a case where short selling is bad because you have a company that's trying to revolutionize the world, bring green energy to legacy autos. And although you know they don't have the best numbers, they didn't have the best numbers at the time, short sellers kept attacking them. But then you have short selling that is valuable in certain areas in our industry, especially in areas where there are companies out there that are posting fraudulent claims, that are posting things that they believe that they can do and they mislead investors. And this is where short sellers come into play because in some sense, they are there to protect the public. They're like, guys, I know you guys are liking this product. I know you guys are liking the hype here but be careful what's going on here. We believe this could be, there could be frauds involved. And this is why I do believe short selling has a space and time in our public markets. Now, let's jump into this report here. We are short DNA, Ginkgo Bioworks is a colossal scam, a Frankenstein mashup of one of the frauds of the last 20 years at 23 billion market cap. It is rare to see a related party scheme on Ginkgo scale in the US market. It is quite simply the US version of China hustle. Some, some interesting keywords here. Um, a snakes, oils, salesmen, and some hedge partners uh, up to pimp the latest synthetic biology scam as, as phantom revenue. Decade of colossal failure gets shoveled into a yet another garbage SPAC, right? So they did SPAC DNA through, they did these SPAC, like I said, like I think in 17 September it was, so just under a month ago, and it was with uh, the SRNG stock uh, ticker symbol. They de SPAC and currently they're trading under DNA. And basically what's going on is that Scorpion Capital believes here there's a dubious shell game, right? That they basically have, you know, this revenue, a, a significant revenue, especially in 2020, that came from what they call, the company calls uh, customers. But in reality, these are actually, if you take a look, these are actually companies that, um, these are actually not real companies, right? This is what the comp this is what the short selling report here is saying, right? Like for example, Kalo, Kalo, whatever are you gonna say? They have no employees, they have no exposure, yet they're sort of scheduled in their uh, balance sheet to sort of bring revenue to Ginkgo Bioworks, and they have deferred revenue, 
and that is looking good in their balance sheet. But when you step back and look at a bigger picture, some of these companies don't even exist, right? They don't even have a presence. And this is what they mentioned by dubious shell game, right? That's a reference. Uh, the actual truth is more, much more nefarious than related parties and suggests that it's a hoax for the ages. Based on interviews with customers, we believe that at least half of Ginkgo's reported foundry revenue is phantom. That is non-cash and pure accounting hocus pocus. So this should be a big red flag. I'm not, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. I think when you see these types of findings, it really raises a flag. Uh, a senior Genomica employee told us clearly in that they have never paid Ginkgo cash for foundry and R&D service. That's not good. That's definitely not good. So they did some due diligence here. We spoke to several former employees who indicated that they had terminated for refusing to pay along with the scheme and stated they never knew of others pushing out for similar reasons. In the last two months, time with SPAC listening, Ginkgo has announced a flurry of our new R&D partners, our dog whistled that one scams hits the overdrive. We believe that these partners are undisclosed related to parties. We present several smoking guns. So I think the report is valid. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. Like I said, you know, I was, and I still am sort of bullish about this space, synthetic biology, I think moving atoms to atoms, you know, I know when you read this type of report, you're like, this is so gibberish, this, this, this is so scammy. But when you just step back, right, you listen to where we are heading in the next 10, 20 years and genomics and biotech. Synthetic biology is definitely has a space in, in our time and space. The only thing here is that I don't like these types of findings here. I think Ginkgo, I haven't really looked at what the response was from Ginkgo Bioworks. I'm, as far as I'm concerned, they haven't really responded. I would love to see their CEO, especially Kelly here. He, he's really involved with social media. I know he's always over Twitter, gives a lot of interviews. I would love him to re sort of respond to this report. I think we can speculate, we can do our own research here, but if they own their own leadership and CEO, cannot respond to this type of report, I think it raises a big flag and I do believe it, this should be done because the moment this report was published, guys, the stock was hit almost 25%, literally overnight. And this is what I mentioned a lot in this channel is that this space is very risky. You have to be in there for the long run. You have to expect these types of short selling reports. You have to expect these types of uh, reports that come out for every of these, these companies, not, not just Ginkgo Bioworks, right? we're looking at CRISPR Therapeutics, Antilia, Beam Therapeutics, just expect these types of short selling. And I don't think it's necessarily bad. I think, like I said, short sellers have a space and time in our community. I just think that you need to have a response from the leadership, right? And this is what the leadership, you as an investor, you have to look at the leadership response, right? This is what truly matters. We can speculate as far as we know, we can say all oh, these hidden interviews, these anonymous employees giving uh, test testimonials are just false, they're just made up, we shouldn't be worrying about it. And I think there's a truth to that. But at the other side of the token, I think we have to let Ginkgo Bioworks leadership respond to that. I think Scorpion's capital work here should be appreciated. I know a lot of you guys are bullish on DNA and a lot of you guys are better. So to me, the way I understand this is like two side of uh, like extremes, right? I think either it goes through like this uh, Theranos slash Enron, a path where it's completely fraudulent claims and completely fraud and it's just going to blow up. Investors are going to blow up here uh, and they're going to be hit very negatively. Or it's a Tesla side of story, right? You have these short sellers that are just attacking this company, not giving it a chance and not giving it time and chance. The company just went public like a month ago, right? You have to let them, you have to let them, you know, time to, to sort of develop that. And I understand 2020 is an example here, but I think the figure dropped to like 50% in 2021. And that figure will be dropping as you go forward. And again, I don't like this to be a shell game. Again, there has to be, there have to be reasons there. I don't believe this. I will give them the benefit of the doubt. And this is why I want the leadership there to, to respond to this. And if they fail to respond, if they don't respond, which is, I, again, I don't like to speculate, but I do suspect they won't be responding to that because they don't want to give publicity and PR to this type of report. Uh, if they don't respond to this, I think you as an investor, you should be seriously considering your status on DNA. I know, again, I love the technology. I love the idea. I love this CEO, how he speaks, how he thinks about the company and the vision. I love how they've been in the markets, in the private markets for years and years, over a decade. But now they're a public company. Rules change in the publics. Okay, we saw what Coinbase happened recently with Coinbase, with the SEC. 
in the public markets, it's no longer the same, right? You can't just get by by, you know, just staying private with your information. As a public company, you have a duty to disclose your information to shareholders. You have many investors from left to right, big institutions to medium-sized institutions. You have retail investors. You have social media to, to, you know, to either promote this type of short selling or to dispromote this type of negativity, right? And you have to disclose that information. I'm really curious to see what will happen here. Again, this is way too early, but I think we should cover this in channel. I know Chris Tommy made his his stance, his video. I know he's him, the, the fellow YouTuber Chris Tommy. He is completely supporting this short uh, report. I think he's disappointed that RG keeps buying DNA uh, stock. And you know, there is this is another topic for another day. But I understand the frustration. I understand the disagreement. But at the same time, I think we should give. Ginkgo Bioworks, the benefit of the doubt. I think they should definitely have an opportunity to respond to this. And again, there is one comment there I saw, and again, we'll end this video like this, is what about Kronos? What about their deal with Kronos recently? I think it is valid. I think it is substantial. I think, um, I don't think you can just ignore that equity they, they purchased, they got from, uh, not purchased, but they got from Kronos, the, basically the weed company or whatever you want to call it, a Canadian company. So. I think it's, it is real. I think it, the, the company does have substantial growth in the upcoming years, but these types of negative reports need to be addressed. I think the leadership needs to be in a position to address it. Again, if you disagree with that, leave me in comments below. What do you think about this report? Are you in favor? Are you in total disagreement with Scorpion Capital short report? Let me know in the comments below. Let me know what you think about Ginkgo Bioworks. We'll leave this video like this. Thank you so much for watching. Again, like this video if you found value. Subscribe if you haven't. And we will see each other in the next video. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see what happens with Ginkgo Bioworks. Thank you for watching.